Hi, this is Bang for Buck PC Gamer here. I'm going to make a quick video about how to use MSI Afterburner's on screen display function. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people have recently been asking me, you know, hey, what's, those, uh, what's the software you're using in the top left hand corner to monitor your graphics card statistics? Well, the program's called the MSI Afterburner and its primary function really is just to overclock your graphics card but it does have other functions and I'm going to show you how to use them now the first thing you're going to want to do is download the latest MSI Afterburner or preferably the latest um, at the time of making this video MSI Afterburner 17 is the latest version so I've got the beta 17 and the first thing you want to do is click settings and click on the monitoring tab. Now below you'll see a graph with loads of fields of your graphics cards data like memory clock, core clock, GPU temperature. These ones are usually enabled by default but you can add to those fields as well. For example if you check the tick box that allows this field to be displayed as well so now Instead of having GPU temperature, core clock and memory clock, I'll also be displaying GPU usage. I'm also going to display memory usage and of course frame rate. Now just checking, checking these boxes alone isn't enough to actually have it display in your game or whatever application you're using. So what you need to do is click show in on screen display and under the properties tab it will have in OSD this will mean that when you load up your game or whatever program you're using it will say it will have the GPU temperature field in the on-screen display function even though you've got these ticked only this is the only one that's gonna be displayed really having these ticked only allows you to view it in a monitoring section of the MSI Afterburner application for example if I was to click as you can see my GPU temperature is idling at 34 degrees at the moment if I was to click GPU temperature off click OK that disappears and it only shows GPU usage, core clock and memory clock so I want to re-tick that click OK and now that comes back GPU temperature returns so basically having those ticked only really matters for the monitoring um, part of uh, MSI Afterburner but what we're interested in is how you want it displayed while you're in game so I usually have GPU temperature, GPU usage core clock, memory clock, memory usage and frame rate displayed because with the videos I make I'm kind of just trying to show people the performance of the graphics card that I'm using but you can go further and display your CPU temperatures and your CPU usage as well even your uh, RAM usage for your system as well which can be handy to people who want to know in real time how much their process how hard their process is working so yeah it, it can do quite a few uh, display functions for you so it's pretty useful now that we have all our selected fields and we've got them all selected to display in OSD when we launch a, a game these will show up but even then to a viewer who's watching your video this wouldn't necessarily make sense for example GPU temperature would probably be the only one of the most clear because the field name would be called GPU and it would have a Celsius reading and obviously we know anything with Celsius is to do with heat but something like GPU usage which is basically how hard your core of your graphics cards working would only be displayed in a number from 0 to 100 with a percentage sign at the side of it to, to a viewer who's watching your video no one would actually know what that field meant so what you need to do is rename your fields so your viewer would understand or even yourself would understand 
So I would generally call GPU usage field. I would call it GPU load. And most people would know that this is the graphics card's core and how much it's actually being used from 0 to 100%. So what you need to do is make sure you tick the box override group name which allows you to change the name of that field. So for core clock I will do the same. I would click override group name and change it to core CLK. The reason I've put CLK it's pretty much short for clock but you only have a limited amount of characters you can use. I think the maximum characters you can use is actually eight characters. So you have to be uh, very try and shorten it as much as you can. So for memory clock I'll do the same. Memory usage I'll just write mem use. For frame rate, this is probably the only field you don't need to do anything because it automatically displays the frame rate by saying FPS and also it describes the API what's being used. For example, DirectX 10, DirectX 11, DirectX 9, OpenGL, etc. So all you really need to do is have frame rate ticked and in OSD checked and that from that piece of information will kind of sort itself out so basically that's how you set up uh, GPU statistics with MSI Afterburners on-screen display function another thing you can do is change how you want your field laid out see at the moment I have my GPU temperature at the top GPU usage, core clock, memory clock or following but if I wanted for example my frame rate at the top what you do is you click frame rate hold it and drag it to the top let go and then it will display the frame rate field as the first piece of information on the on-screen display function and you can do this for all of the rest of the fields as well so you can have it laid out in the way you choose I personally like frame rate to be the last field so I always have it at the bottom and I always start with GPU temperature, core usage, the core clock, the memory clock and the memory usage. I like the memory usage option because it shows you how much VRAM is being used by that specific game and it's good because then you know how demanding a game can become when it comes to your frame buffer the most demanding games I've seen so far are probably Far Cry 3, Tomb Raider when you choose you know the maximum super, sam super sampling anti-analyzing and Crisis 3 as well and Battlefield 4 of course those can all exceed 2 gigabytes worth of memory usage so it's a decent function to have if you're curious to how much VRAM is being used in a game Right now I'm going to show you how this looks once you set it up. Okay, so right now I've launched the benchmark software called Unity in Heaven. This is just an example. This will obviously work with any game or application you're using. But providing it's 32-bit, MSI Afterburner currently doesn't support 64-bit applications which is why when I tried to do like gameplay recordings for something like Battlefield 4 um, I can only display frame rate with like a uh, other piece of software like Fraps which will which is actually 64 bit compatible so I can't show in game statistics while in multiplayer anyway anyway moving back to what we're actually trying to display here which is this is how my on-screen display will actually show up with the GPU load or the GPU temperature being the first field uh, the GPU load which is how hard the core is working being the second field my core clock which is currently 1220 on my R9 290 and my memory clock which is currently 1550 
Well, I talked about the memory usage. Currently, this application is using just 990 megabytes. Well, it's going up, so now it's over a gig. And um, this is the frames per second field, which also shows the API, which is DirectX 11. So that's how it would look once you've set it up the way I've shown you. And it's a it's a good it's a good piece of information for you when you're playing your game and you wonder how hot my graphics card is or you know is my graphics card GPU load bouncing up and down see at the moment my core is pretty much staying with 100% load or sometimes it drops between 98% or whatnot but it currently just it is quite solid without this information I wouldn't really know what's going on so it's pretty handy okay so that's basically how it look once you set up your MSI afterburner on screen display and run an application but there are further customizations you can do which I think is important to note but once you set up MSI afterburner you also get this thing called Reva Tuna Statistics Server now what you want to do is open that and you can use this to change how big the font is for your information of the fields I have mine pretty big because I do performance videos and not everyone wants to take the time to buffer the video in 720 or 1080p and having a big font will allow someone who wants to watch the video in a low uh, low bit rate you'll still see the information because the fonts quite big and quite clear you can also add a shadow around the, the font which helps it the writing for me personally I think it makes it more clear so if I was to turn it off the shadow gets removed if I turn it back on the shadow is returned so you can also change the positioning of where you want the information so you can move it to the bottom and left the top hand right or wherever you wherever you choose I personally like it in the top hand right corner you can also change the color of the palette if purple is not to your taste you can change it to something more familiar like yellow which is perhaps default color what most people are used to or you know any other color of your choosing um, all my videos are purple so I'm gonna just stick with it I don't really mind you can also change the outline color as well by clicking this palette so if I wanted yellow and purple which would look weird but you can do that so you can further customize your display function by going to the Revit Unit Statistics Server application which usually runs in your taskbar and you just click it and you can customize it to your liking that's basically it for the on screen display guide just going to quickly go over the main important things in the monitoring tab make sure all your chosen fields have in OSD enabled or it will not show up when you go into your application um, make sure the desired field is also ticked because if it's not ticked it won't be displayed either so make sure that's ticked and that's pretty much it this is a uh, bang for buck pc gamer signing out and i hope this tutorial um, helps anyone who knew about the on-screen display function but wasn't quite sure how to set it up or anyone who was just curious to what software i was using and how i used it so I hope this has helped and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.